Shine Shea Bear 1000 here and Monkey. That's Monkey. Tonight we're going to be making a giant one of these out of one of these. Stick around. Let's make a bulb. Okay guys, so <laughs> she's here. <laughs> We're gonna be making a bulb that's gonna light up out of this ball here. And this ball, monkey was reading it earlier. Uh I don't like that that's gonna be on there, but it's gotta be on there, I guess. It's not a sticker. It's made in Ashland, Ohio. Yeah. Just north of my hometown. So that's kinda cool. And we're going to use this citronella candle we bought at Walmart. We bought that at Walmart. And this is the only one we could find at Walmart. And you can order these online, be a lot cheaper. This was 20 bucks. Right? Yeah, it was expensive. Okay, so this is Honeywell. It's LED because you want to use an LED because this is rubber. This is going to be lit up. Okay? But this candle, we have to get the candle out of here. And I'll show you how we're going to do that in an easy way. And you'll still be able to use your candle. Um, smell that? Okay, so we're gonna get this light out of here. It's not what I wanted, but I can make it work. Like Monkey said, can you make it work? I'm Shea Bear. Okay, so we're gonna make it out of this. Okay, this is gonna be shining down through the ball like that. Okay, so first. Alright, so we need out of this. They we're going to use a hot glue gun, which should have already been plugged in, but I didn't plug it in, so I won't plug it in right now. What's going on here? Feeling okay? Alright. So, we got a couple glue sticks there. Now I'm going to show you how to get this candle out of here. Okay, so what I've got here is I've had some water boiling, so I got it hot. I turned it turned it down. And we're just going to stick this in here for a couple minutes just so it gets gets the tin warm. And once the tin's warm, we can you don't want to actually melt the wax. You just want it warm enough to where it'll come out and we'll pour it out onto something, paper plate or something. And that way we'll still be able to use that candle next summer, spring, summer, camping. So, all right. I'll be back with you as soon as that gets ready. You'll know because you reach in here and go to turn this, the wax will spin inside of it. So. Okay, guys, so say it's, it's turning in there, so we should be ready to... There it Ooh, is. Cool. There it is. Well, that's really neat. Oops, I got a little bit of wax on here, but that'll come off. Thank God it's granted. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So now we're gonna wash this out. It's just gonna take some hot water. Yeah. So it's gonna take, and then um, and then we'll get to step two here. <clears throat> Excuse me, step two. I seen this on a video today. I seen somebody build one similar, so that's where I got the idea from. It's not my idea. So I seen it on YouTube. Thought it was cool. So alright, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now the next thing is to make a hole big enough for this cord to come through. And I'm just gonna use this step bit here. It's kind of overkill. But it should be alright, and I'm going to use my new drill that Dennis sent me. We're going outside to do this because I don't. She won't let me do it in here. I don't know why. <laughs> Give me that look again. <laughs> okay, let's go outside, Monk. Okay. Okay. So now we got our drill. And we're just going to 
punch a hole in here until it's big enough for this plug in to go through. Uh, let's see, where's this going to be at? So I'm going to kind of off center it. No, it doesn't have to be. Maybe. Here we go. says you can't put a square peg in a round hole there it is all right now we're going back in the house okay so we can either cover this up or cover this up so she wants to cover this up so that's what we're going to do we're going to do that with the light okay like this and then this is going to go up through the hole and the bucket's going to get glued on here so we're going to go ahead and glue this on here um, I got this glue gun I've got it on the low setting, so it should be all right. It shouldn't burn through that rubber ball. We'll find out though, right? Yeah. If it does, it'll be a funny fail video. But that guy, all he did was use a. Well, he didn't glue the light onto the ball. So what did he do? Uh, he, his was a different, a little different design. He just put like a couple drops to hold it and then he used some kind of silicone glue. Oh. Clear silicone glue. Do you have any? No, I don't. So I think this is going to work. <laughs> nope, maybe not. This stuff might not work. We'll see. Right, Mama? Mm-hmm. You know, you can use whatever kind of adhesive you've got. This is what I've got. So, this is what we're using. Because I forgot to get adhesive when we was at Wally World. So. Hope I don't get too many of these strings over that. It'll look like it's cracked. <laughs> It'll look more authentic though, right? Yeah. Cracked bone. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Like she said, we're going to let it dry. Let it cool down a couple minutes. And then we'll be back with you and we're going to put the top on it. Because i got to take this. Can you hold that? Because mm -hmm. i got to take this veil out of here anyway. Just like that. Okay. You take the veil out. And this is going to go on top. So. Alright, we're going to let that cool down a minute. Okay guys, so... <coughs> that didn't stick to the ball. So we went down. We're going to try some of this. We got this at the Dollar General. And uh, it was $2. So... <coughs> setting time, 5 minutes. So this, we're going to try this. If this don't work, I've got some... Um, what do you call it? Contact cement. Contact cement. I know it'll work. Let's try this. We're going to open this up here. There's the applicator. This is a mix, but it's uh, automatically mixing. I've already read the instructions, but I've used this stuff before. Works pretty good, but I don't know about rubber. So, I've never used it on rubber. So, it says to hold this up. Pull the plunger back a little bit, which it never usually does, but 
then you take this you snap this off don't twist it, it says don't twist it okay now this just gets put on and you turn it a quarter turn like that and then it should be ready so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this ball is in my way okay so I'm gonna see it mixes as it comes down through there there's little things inside there that make it twirl and mix together so we're going to go ahead and put this on here I'm going all the way around with it just like that and then I'm going to pull the plunger back just a smidgen so it can see it went back in there which it's kind of it's small but it's kind of a one-time thing because once it goes back in there it'll harden and dry and be done so we're going to put this on here just like that I'm going to hold it for a minute well uh, it says <clears throat> Join surfaces within four minutes of adhesive application. Immediately remove excess glue with mineral spirits or rubbing alcohol. Uh, and then the bond sets in five to seven minutes and achieves usable strength in 20 minutes. So I'm going to hold this for about five to seven minutes. And then we'll... Uh, We'll see if that does any good. If not, I'll have to get my contact cement. Okay, so we got Miss Monkey here holding the uh, thing. <laughs> it's been about, been about eight minutes, so should be good enough to try to put that that thing on. So we're on. I used a whole tube on that. Like I said, it's not much. It's one time use because even if you suck it back in there, it's already mixed and it'll harden up. So. That's why they're so small. Now, don't you want to put this through first? Why? Okay. Monkey's telling me my job here. No, that's <laughs> the whole thing. Stop doing Okay. So, we're going to... Got to hold the ball straight, huh? check that outside or inside here remember yeah it was fine it was fine so why is it not now I don't know <laughs> all right we'll make it work okay I got an idea I'll be right back okay so I did was took a pair of pliers and I just kind of ripped this hole a little bit bigger around here um, so be careful it's sharp I got a little tape on there so I don't cut myself but I'm gonna be putting a bunch of hot glue around here to keep the water out anyway so all right let's um glue this So I'm going to put this glue around here and we're going to let it set up because I got a couple more tubes I'm probably going to use them all and then we'll be back with you okay guys so I think this stuff's going to work so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of fill this fill this in the best I can with hot glue to keep the water out of it and so it's not so sharp and this this doesn't have to come out again because you can't change bulb anyway and it, it it's just an LED so um, I'm just gonna fill this up then we're gonna take it outside and hang it up 
and see what it looks like. Okay guys, we're outside now. Now we'll go hang this up. So don't fall off this stool. I'm not holding on to you. I'll save you, Shea Bear. <laughs> Monkey saying, I'll save you, Shea Bear. Okay, thanks, Monk. You're welcome. I just got a piece of wire up here. This thing's not that heavy anyway, guys. No, it's very light. Now we're going to put this over here. Alright. Now, we've got an extension cord here somewhere. It's right here, right here. Okay. Take that in and unplug it there, because we'll do a lighting. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm just going to kind of tie these. So they don't, uh, so they don't come unplugged. I'll do it a little better tomorrow because we're going to be putting up some lights outside tomorrow. Nothing major like last year, but. All right, there's that. Now I'm going to have monkey turn off the porch light it's gonna be dark just for a second guys you gonna plug her in okay go for it monkey's gonna get it I guess so go for it monk and there it is <laughs> you like that huh yeah there it is guys we did one but I like another one now. Well, we had two balls. <laughs> yeah, we did. But the lights were 20 bucks a piece, and I yeah. just, I'm like, damn. They're expensive. And there was only two left, so. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's using them for outside and Christmas and stuff. So. so you'd have to get another ball, another candle, and another light. Yeah. And four more tubes of that <laughs> epoxy. I think I'd like to go blue, blue or red. Well, they didn't have red, so we have to go with a blue ball. Yeah, all they had was pink. But <laughs> yeah. there it is, guys. That's cute, though. Yeah. It was, it's really cute. Yep. I like it. I so you want them. one down at the other corner, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, hang on. We'll be back with you. We're going to step back and look at it. Okay, guys. So there's our homemade Christmas bulb. Yeah. Like I said, it's not my idea. I've seen a guy doing it on YouTube. That's so. cool. Yeah, because you know it's starting to pop up these uh, people DIYs um, with Christmas decoration ideas. Yeah. And I showed that to her and she was like, you can make me one of them. And you did. So I did. <laughs> just use whatever glue works for you. I mean, it's yeah. not rocket science. It's just, it's a light and a ball. <laughs> and a little pail. And a little pail. We couldn't find any pills that people use for crafts and stuff for some reason so well, that's why we had to get the get the candle but again we're going to use that candle so yeah we'll use well, i mean we needed another one anyway so mm -hmm. uh we'll end up just putting it in a bowl or something and it'll be fine so because it was like eight bucks yeah yeah which originally it was fifteen dollars must be half off or something it's like 787 yeah so, yeah yeah eight bucks, eight bucks. So, yeah, uh, so you can find them cheaper. You can find any of that stuff online a lot cheaper, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Probably the light, I mean, the too. ball was pretty expensive. Yeah. <laughs> for, a for a rubber ball for a kid to kick around, but. Yeah, they've gone up. But. So, there you go. Like I said, not my idea. Somebody I've seen on YouTube doing it, so. Yeah. Uh, and he's got links. I, I, I can't, I can't remember what channel it was or anything. Um, never heard of him. Not, 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 uh, stuttering. Not very many views, kind of like I get. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was, it was a great idea. So, mm -hmm. you know, he did good on it. And uh, he had a better light to where that bottom piece had come clear off. Oh, yeah. So he had a better, uh, better spotlight. Um, but that, that turned out it worked fine because it's up high enough. You don't want to see that top mm -hmm. or the top top. But so, anyway, there you go, guys. Again, not my idea, but. A good idea so whoever came up with it was pretty neat mm -hmm. so 
Give it a shot. <laughs> I like it. It'll look nice with the rest of the stuff when we go outside. Yep. Tomorrow. Yep. Yep. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Yep. Tomorrow. Oh, they'll see this tomorrow. Oh, are they? Okay. Today's Thursday. Yes. You'll see this on Friday. So. No. Okay. All right. Monkey says she's out for now, y'all. <laughs> have a great evening. And... <laughs> See you in the next one. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Shea Bear met the mantle. <laughs> Shea Bear, the met the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. I'm half drunk here. It must be the glue. <laughs> yeah. We need to get some more of that stuff. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.